Hello. Don't forget to like and subscribe before starting the video. Who is Herbert Hoover? Herbert Hoover was the 31st President of the United States, serving from 1929 to 1933. He was born in West Branch, Iowa in 1874 and grew up in a Quaker family. Hoover's early life was marked by tragedy, as both of his parents died when he was young. Despite this, he was an exceptional student and went on to study at Stanford University, where he earned a degree in geology. After graduation, Hoover worked as a mining engineer and quickly rose to prominence in his field. He became known for his innovative techniques and his ability to turn around failing mines. During World War I, Hoover volunteered for humanitarian work in Europe, helping to provide relief to civilians who were affected by the conflict. Hoover's success as a businessman and humanitarian brought him to the attention of President Warren Harding, who appointed him as Secretary of Commerce in 1921. Hoover continued to serve in this role under President Calvin Coolidge, and his tenure was marked by a number of significant achievements. He helped to modernize the federal government's approach to business and commerce, promoting standardization and regulation. Overall, Hoover's background as a successful businessman and engineer made him an appealing candidate for the presidency. He was seen as a competent and capable leader, with a proven track record of success in both the private and public sectors. However, his presidency would be defined by the challenges of the Great Depression, which had a profound impact on the nation and ultimately led to his defeat in the 1932 election. Herbert Hoover's early life and education set the stage for his later success as a mining engineer, businessman, and public servant. As the son of a Quaker blacksmith and a homemaker, Hoover was raised in a household that emphasized hard work, thrift, and community service. When both of his parents died before he turned 10, Hoover was sent to live with relatives in Oregon and attend a Quaker boarding school in Iowa. After graduating from high school, Hoover enrolled at Stanford University, where he studied geology and mining engineering. He was an outstanding student and quickly made a name for himself as a young and promising engineer. While at Stanford, Hoover became involved in various clubs and organizations, including the debating team and the student government. Despite facing a strong challenge from Smith, Hoover ultimately won a decisive victory in the 1928 election, carrying 40 states and receiving over 58% of the popular vote. His victory was seen as a mandate for his vision of economic growth and modernization, and he was widely hailed as a hero by Republicans and business leaders. However, Hoover's presidency would ultimately be defined by the onset of the Great Depression, which began just months after he took office. Despite his efforts to promote economic recovery, including the creation of the Reconstruction Finance Corporation and support for public works projects, the Depression continued to worsen, and his popularity declined sharply. In 1932, Hoover was defeated in a landslide by Democrat Franklin D. Roosevelt, bringing an end to his political career. Herbert Hoover's presidency was marked by the onset of the Great Depression, which began just months after he took office in 1929. The stock market crash of that year signaled the beginning of an economic crisis that would last for over a decade and affect millions of Americans. As the crisis deepened, Hoover took more aggressive measures to combat the economic downturn. He created the Reconstruction Finance Corporation in 1932, which provided loans to struggling banks and businesses in an effort to stimulate economic growth. He also supported public works projects, such as the construction of dams, highways, and other infrastructure, in an effort to create jobs and boost the economy. Ultimately, Hoover's presidency was defined by his response to the Great Depression, which overshadowed his other achievements and contributed to his defeat in the 1932 election. Despite his efforts to address the crisis, he was unable to turn the tide of the economic downturn, and his legacy has been overshadowed by the widespread suffering and hardship of the era. Herbert Hoover's foreign policy was characterized by his commitment to promoting international cooperation and reducing the threat of war through disarmament. In the aftermath of World War I, Hoover was a strong advocate for disarmament, and he played a key role in the negotiation of the Washington Naval Treaty in 1922, which limited naval armaments among the major powers. Hoover also supported the creation of the World Court, which was established in 1922 as a forum for resolving disputes between nations. 
He believed that international law and cooperation could help to prevent conflicts and promote peace, and he worked to strengthen the institutions of the League of Nations. In the 1930s, as the threat of fascism began to emerge in Europe, Hoover remained committed to his vision of international cooperation and disarmament. He supported efforts to expand the League of Nations and strengthen its ability to prevent aggression, and he called for greater economic cooperation and mutual aid among nations. However, Hoover's efforts were largely unsuccessful, as the rise of aggressive regimes in Germany, Italy, and Japan led to the outbreak of World War II. Despite his support for international cooperation, Hoover was unable to prevent the breakdown of the global order or the rise of totalitarianism. Despite these failures, Hoover's commitment to promoting peace and reducing the threat of war remains an important part of his legacy. His vision of international cooperation and disarmament laid the groundwork for future efforts to build a more peaceful and just world, and his leadership on these issues helped to shape the course of global politics in the early 20th century. Herbert Hoover's legacy as president is largely defined by his response to the Great Depression. While he made efforts to combat the economic downturn, including the creation of the Reconstruction Finance Corporation and support for public works projects, his policies were criticized for being too cautious and insufficient to address the severity of the crisis. Many Americans blamed Hoover for the economic hardship and suffering of the era, and his presidency is often remembered as a time of widespread despair and hardship. Hoover's post-presidential work earned him widespread respect and admiration, and he was honored with numerous awards and accolades for his humanitarian efforts. He also wrote several books on a variety of subjects, including economics, public policy, and international relations. Today, Hoover's legacy is viewed in a more nuanced light. While his presidency is remembered as a time of hardship and suffering, his commitment to public service and humanitarian aid is widely recognized and admired. He is also credited with laying the groundwork for future efforts to combat poverty and promote economic opportunity and his work on international cooperation and disarmament helped to shape the course of global politics in the 20th century. Overall, Hoover's legacy is complex and multifaceted, reflecting both the successes and failures of his career in public service. In this video, we explored the life and career of Herbert Hoover, the 31st President of the United States. We discussed his background as a successful businessman and engineer, as well as his work as a mining engineer and humanitarian during World War I. We also examined his rise to political prominence, including his appointment as Secretary of Commerce under Presidents Harding and Coolidge and his successful 1928 presidential campaign. We then turned to Hoover's presidency, discussing his response to the stock market crash of 1929 and the onset of the Great Depression. We examined his efforts to combat the Depression, including his creation of the Reconstruction Finance Corporation and his support for public works projects. We also highlighted his foreign policy achievements, including his efforts to promote international cooperation and disarmament, as well as his response to the rise of fascism in Europe. Finally, we evaluated Hoover's legacy as president, considering both his successes and failures. We discussed his post-presidential career and humanitarian work, and offered final thoughts on his place in American history. Overall, Herbert Hoover's legacy is complex and multifaceted. While his presidency is often remembered as a time of hardship and suffering, his commitment to public service and humanitarian aid is widely recognized and admired. His work on international cooperation and disarmament helped to shape the course of global politics in the 20th century and his post-presidential career reflects a lifelong dedication to the principles of democracy, free enterprise, and humanitarian aid. Despite the controversies and struggles of his presidency, Hoover remains an important figure in American history, whose contributions continue to inspire and inform our understanding of the role of government in promoting the welfare of the American people. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.